medalists of those eight players at quarter-final stage. Six different nationalities, six of the top eight seeds as well. Only one player that wasn't seeded, and that was the former champion, Okuhara. So Chen Ufei, the Olympic champion, two-time World Championship bronze medalist and a silver medalist from the last World Championships in Tokyo. Well, Chen Ufei won her Olympic gold, beating Tai Su Ying in Tokyo. The opponent from China, Wang Xiyi. Last year's Asian champion, the number 10 seed, Wang Xiyi, is this lady's opponent. Here she comes, Wang Xiyi, playing in her third consecutive World Championships. Uh, but this is her first ever quarter-final at this prestigious event. Two previous third round okay. losses. One. So this very much Imagine a step forward for Wang Xiyi. She was a bronze medalist at the World Junior Championships in Markham in Canada in 2018. Lost out to the eventual champion, Go Jin Wei of Malaysia. Well, a big occasion for Wang Xiyi because uh, she had to play against another Chinese player in this section of the draw. In fact, three Chinese players in one quarter of the women's singles draw. That's tough for the Chinese team. But this, I can tell you, will be a fifth meeting between these two players. And of the previous four, Chen Ufei has won all of them. But it has gone to three games twice of the previous four encounters. Black. The last meeting was in the quarterfinal of that Korean Open. In fact, Chen Fei had to save a match point in that second game before winning it 25-23. And convincing in the decider 21-12 in an hour and 19 minutes. So, Steen, did you hear who won the toss of the coin? Uh, Chen Fei won the uh, coin toss and elected to start on the near side of the court here. Yeah. I'm not surprised. There is a diff definite drift in this arena, and uh, therefore it's very sensible to choose your favoured end. Either you want to start well or you want to finish well if you think it's going to three. 25 years of age from Hangzhou, the capital of Xijiang, a province and she has been world number one for 13 weeks that was from the middle of December 2019 a buy in the first round by virtue of her seeding Pai Yu Po in the second round and the European Games silver medalist Mia Blickfeld of Denmark in the third round yesterday her opponent Wang Shi is 23 from Shashi in Jingzhou Hubei province, and she is currently number 11 on the world ranking, but has been as high as six. So when she won the Asian Championships last year, she beat Akane Yamaguchi in the final, having beaten Unse Young in the semi-final. So that's a super a set of results. She too had a bye in the first round, then Yvonne Lee from Germany, and then three thrilling games against the two-time World Championship bronze medalist, Herbing Zhao, the left-hander uh, from China. Came from a game down to win 21-14 in the deciding game. So Umpar Fandal from the Philippines and Fred Cox from the Netherlands is the service judge.
to the former Asian champion, Wang Shi. On our side of the court, getting this quarter final underway against the Olympic champion, Chen and Fei. Well, the head to heads, Steen, very much suggests that Chen and Fei is overwhelming favourite for this. Yeah. I, I, I think she is the favourite, but um, I think <laughs> I actually think they remind, uh, or, or they are very like in terms of both looks and playing style. They are, aren't they? I think Wang Ji has a little bit better smash than uh, Chen Fei, but Chen Fei perhaps a little bit better. Uh, movement in the defense, especially. It's wide. Service over. One, all. China were once totally dominant in the women's singles discipline. Uh, China uh, didn't actually participate in BWF events, i.e. Be uh, International Badminton Federation, as it used to be called, um, until the first World Championships in Copenhagen, which was in 1983. And of the first 17 World Championships that they participated in, they won 15 gold medals. The only time they didn't win was when Susie Susanti won and Kimberly Martin won here in 1999. But China has not won a gold medal in the women's singles for 12 years since Wang Yi Han in London in 2011. Landed, it's landed in. in. That's a good shot. No, they, they, they probably um, feel that they've had a little bit of unlucky draw. The Chinese uh, national team in the women's singles because uh, they had their three best players in the same quarter, as you mentioned. Wang Ji defeated uh, Ho Ping Zhao yesterday. And now only one of these two can, uh, can progress to the semifinals, but um they could all three be contenders had they not um, played each other Chen Fei has the, the distinction of being only the second women's singles player to medal at the World Championships while reigning World Junior Champion. She did that in 2017 in Glasgow. The only other player, of course, was Cheng Xiaoxie of Chinese Taipei, who was World Junior Champion in 2004 and won a bronze medal in 2005. Yeah. Magnificent from Wang Shi. I'm certain this is one of the um, 
issues in uh, Chen Fei's game that she's working on being able to attack a little bit more and um, put it away at the net. That has not been at all her preferred playing style and lost the skills um, needs to be learned or perfected Three. is perhaps a better word. There's no doubt she can do it, but um, to make it work against uh, high class opposition is the uh, the goal, of course. Stayed on Wang uh, Ji's side. Five, all. I seem to recall she uh, wore a rather large um, knee uh, brace at some point, Wang Ji, after she won the um, Asia Championship last year. Uh, but now it's gone, and that's good to see. I think she's had some problem with her knee. Oy. That's a big mistake. Six, five. Yeah, that's not even close, is it? Nice block. Well, Seven, just to emphasize five. the strengths of Chinese women singles over the year. We've had 13 same nation finals. Wow, out of the 15 that they won? No, no, in ah, total. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the first one was an all Indonesian in 1980. Yes. Before the Chinese uh, players participated in uh, World Badminton. But they've had 12 all Chinese finals. Wow. Of the 15 they've won. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Service over. Six, seven. But it was really the World Championships in Guangzhou in 2013 when Ratchana Kintanon won the gold medal, beating Li Shui Rei in the final. Yeah. Uh, that really changed things. Everybody, all other nations believed it's possible to beat the Chinese. And, and we've had a very exciting 10-year era of women's singles where there's been, you know, eight or 10 players that could win any one event. It's been a, a wonderful era. It has. And I, I think the reason why um, a lot of players started believing in it was that, that Thailand had um, had been out of um, sort of um, uh, they hadn't really been it went uh, on the radar. challenging for for medals in uh, the singles disciplines they, they had uh, some good players but a little bit lower ranked there were some good doubles but it was uh, they weren't really winning medals but they started out by doing some great um, uh, work in the junior Seven. department, and everybody's heard of Rachina Gintanon when she uh, first started in the senior circuit because she'd become three time world champion. She won her first world championships when junior she was 14. Champion. Three times world junior champion. Three times world junior champions, that's right. She, she won, well taken. She won the first one, she was 14. So, so it was a Very new well. nation coming up. Yeah. And I think that was important. Otherwise, there'd been like these outliers like Susi Susanti. Uh, Bang Su Young had challenged uh, in uh, 1996 and then Camilla Martin uh, from Denmark, but there hadn't been any um, newcomers. And also the, the fact that Rachina had won with such beautiful technical skills and so on. I think the emphasis on the technical skills became uh, more distinct. Yeah.
It's going, going wide. Nine, eight. Well, first time since she led one love that the Olympic champion has been back in the lead. Yeah, and, and there's, there's a lot of people that... Um, or some of the ones that I talked to that says, ah, that's an all uh, Chinese or all Japan women's doubles and, and stuff like that. And, and they say it's, it's not so interesting. I think it's super interesting. Yeah. Because they, these two here, they know each other from the daily practice. So they know which buttons to push. And it can give valuable information for the ones who, uh, who play these two players from other nations as to uh, how can we actually uh, get an advantage in terms of um, the tactical approach. That's a great smash. So if he's over... Nine, and you can compare yourself to if you see something that's working and say, OK, do we have the same skills? If not, then probably we have to uh, develop them or uh, find a different uh, game plan. shot that's super yeah. great shot set up the rally she forced the short lift one she yeah even got the neck cord i think with that tumble neck shot Good angle. And it is the Olympic champion who has the one point advantage here at the mid game interval of the opening game. So, no coaching staff involved when it's two players from the same country. Chinese coaches just leave the players to their own devices. finals this year for Chen Fei and both of them Super 1000 events. She won the Indonesian Open and lost to Anse Young in the final of the All England. Service over. Oh, she's challenging. Yeah. She's challenging. Chen Yufei yeah. challenges called out. I think she could have a, a point there, Chen Fei, but it's uh, the furthest away from us, so extremely uh, more like I guess. Uh, it's a good call by the line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Eleven all. Play. It's gone long. Yeah. Service over. 12, 11. So if you think that Wang Shi's got a, a slightly better smash than this lady, Chen Fei, do you think she ought to be using it more? 
Yes, you still have to be careful uh, because because um, Chen Fei has such a good attack, and uh, she's got to find the right spots, and that that's what I think that we're seeing here. We're, we're actually seeing. We, we talked about it a, a number on a number of occasions in women's doubles where you sort of um, you you. Uh, you try a um, constructive shot, see how it works. Is it something that um, we can work uh, on and, and enhance the advantage, or do we have to start all over again? But but we definitely don't want to give the opponent, in this case, um, a fellow countryman, a chance to um, to counter attack and, and score easy points. So if um, the shot is. 10 centimeters from the line and the opponent gets it back. Okay, the next time I try to move it a little bit closer to the line and see if she can still get it and so on. So patience is um, is definitely one of the uh, issues in, in this match, the way I see it. That's a, That's a bad mistake. And if I'm in the critical corner, and I sometimes am, I want to criticize the Danish audience a little bit here, because it's absolute world class that's going on, and, and it's more or less silent. Yeah, they're not invested in it. Oh, it's like uh, seeing, uh, for instance, a, a football Champions League final between Liverpool and Manchester City, and, and you're not really interested. Yeah. That's strange to me, but but I know that that it's it's like this. I can understand they're waiting for the Danes, but but this is brilliant badminton. Yeah, I agree. Ooh. Yeah, she's sitting with the drift. She is. Is one she? There's her feet there. Yeah, she's got good length, chin and feet. Just looking to see if if she made the wrong choice. Well, they should should have used um, a smash or a downward shot. If Chen Fei plays a little bit too short. Why? Yep, and it's taken with the sideways drift. straight points to go back into the lead, Chen Yufei. That's super play. Yeah, brilliant. The, uh, it starts, um, I think, the shot before, or maybe two shots before. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, but it actually it's... started with the defense, with her defense that she played into the yeah. middle of the court and was ready for the flat lift, which she intercepted and then uh, killed. So yeah. brilliant tactical skills. Yeah, but that final shot, the way she put reverse yeah. slice on it. Yeah, she's, she's got to be very satisfied with yeah. that when she rewatches it on, on video and says, this is what I need to do. To, uh, to score my points on the front court as well. There it is again. Oh! Oy. Good defence. That's a couple of times Wang Chi Yi has got a defensive shot that Chen Fei simply wasn't expecting her to get yeah. back. Good alertness. Yeah, she's not... Satisfied with that, Chen Fei. Oh, that was quick follow up, wasn't it? Yeah. And I like that skill. She's learned from that defensive shot of her opponent previously. 
this time instead of going for the hard push just guiding the shuttle across court Lovely. Yeah. and if she blocks it straight the pace goes out of the uh, shot so the cross is fantastic efficiently put away. 16, 17. Backhand ended up a little short, but I, I think actually in general here in the first game, Chen Fei has had good length on her shots to the uh, back line of Wang Jiyi. We've seen in the uh, previous days that the players have sometimes struggled to um, to get the correct length on it, they have to push it a little bit extra. Yeah. Force the short lift with the tight spinning net shot. 18, 16. And once you've got the short lift, that's the opportunity to put the shuttle away. That was a beautiful net shot, it really was. Follow up. Yeah, well played by Wang Shi. 17, 18. Just long. Service over. Really pushing each Nine, other to all four seven, corners eight. of the court. Decision cost her dear. <laughs> and now the Olympic champion Game point. 17. has three opportunities to close out this opening game. Yeah, there's the hesitation. Playing a loopy drop. She tried to drive the shuttle. Oh, that's wide. 21-17, the opening game. The two last year's beaten finalist and the reigning Olympic champion, Chen Ufei. 24 minutes for that opening game and 21-17.
So one game to the goods. Chen Fei, the Olympic champion and beaten finalist at the World Championships in Tokyo last year. One love. So as far as Chen Fei is concerned, on a quest to add to her silver and two bronze medals, which of course, if she was able to do that, would make it a full set of women's singles medals. There's four players, Steen. Got a full set of women's singles medals. I'll buy the tees tonight if you can name all four. <laughs> uh, that's oh, difficult. That's nice shot. Yeah. TV Cinder is one of them. She certainly is. One and I'll O'Hara you... is the other one. No. No, she's not got a bronze. She's not got a bronze. I'll give you a, a clue. Yeah. Three Chinese players. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Think back to my era, first of all. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of leaning way, perhaps. Yes, well done. Then a bit after me. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot after me. Yeah. Um, the one who won here in Denmark, uh, Ye Chao Ying. Sorry? Ye Chao Ying. From China, Ye. No? No. And she didn't win in Denmark, of course, because Camilla Martin did. But who won in 91? Um, oh, I, I'm out of the uh, last two. Gong Reina. Gong Reina. And Zhang Ning. Yeah, Zhang Ning. I was, I was in, in the break, I was thinking about Zhang Ning because... Missed it. She was the one who brought up... Um, Chen Fei as the women's singles national coach and I was checking to see whether Wang Ji Yi had, had played a lot senior badminton under Jiang Ning and, and um, I don't think she has because she only started playing in 2017 and Wang uh, Jiang Ning uh, left as national coach in, in May 2018 so there could be some tactical advantages because I think she was really good at that Jiang Ning and I think she's passed a lot on to uh, to Chen Yufei. So um, there's a possibility that she's stronger, uh, quite a big possibility, I think, that she's stronger than uh, Wang Ji Yi. Looking at those results, I came across quite fun thing that uh, in uh, Malaysia challenge back in 2018 Wang Ji Yi she won the first round of women's singles against the player who's just won a medal Wei Yashin who's in the semi-final of the mixed doubles here really never got behind it no. Yeah, she turns and takes it low in a forehand corner. You can't afford to do that. Short. Boy, that's a beauty. Yeah, the reverse slice straight drop from the Olympic champion. Played to perfection. And that's one of the things that I'm looking for here in the second game, whether Wang Ji Yi can get the correct length on uh, her shots to the back line. I thought uh, Chen Fei was brilliant at that um, in the first game. And how does uh, Chen Fei control playing with the drift to Wang Ji Yi's back line? I think that's... It's, it's small details, but it can be super important. That was too short again. Yeah. Second time in this second game. Yeah, but what an accurate smash. Yeah. Well, it was absolutely on the line. Look at that. A super net shot. Oh, that's a big miss. <laughs> that's a huge miss by the Olympic champion. Look 
where her feet are when she plays it. She's nowhere near the back no. of the court. It's barely a half court lift. And she really should have put that away. Yeah, that's what she thinks of that. <laughs> oh, that's a great shot. Yeah, super. Oh, she did well to reach it. And but Chen Ufei was there. She was ready and waiting. Six, four. What do you think uh, Wang Shi's got to do here to turn this around? I, I, I think she's got to uh, she's got to find a better length and perhaps a little bit extra deceptions on uh, the shot to the um, to the front court and then the selection of uh, of shots. Uh, we've seen her sometimes uh, attack a little bit out of position and, and that, that's just not really good. Yeah. She was more on balance as she yeah, made that yeah. top shot. So if she's in doubt, play it below the tape. It's difficult for Chen Yufei to play winners from there. It's difficult for any player. And um, and and find a little bit extra length so she can put Chen Yufei under pressure on the back court. I also think she's used the um, backhand corner of um, Chen Yufei, if not to say the backhand side very little. It looks like she's really scared of the sideways drift. Good lift. She's commanding the rallies more so now. I yes, think and that's rallies. The, and she's won them. Yeah. Last two. That's just inside the line. Right now, there's all signs that um, Chen Yifei is going to uh, sort of uh, routinely win this. Again, two, three points ahead. So she really needs to um, to put together a, a good string of rallies, Wang Ji Yi. Well, that's obvious. That's what you always try to do. But but I don't think she can rely on on too many gifts from uh, from Chen Yifei. She's got to do it herself. Yeah. Service over. Nine seven. Again, look at where Chen Yifei's feet are. Yeah. That's front court area. Lift was so short.
beautiful once again. Threaded it down the line. Ten, seven. She looks reasonably light-footed, um, Chen Fei. Not a good, I mean, they, they know each other, obviously, from, uh, from practice. Um, got a good anticipation of where the shots are going to come. her sides and therefore it's 11-7 in favour of last year's beaten finalist Chen Fei. Well she has to go for the tight tumble because she has to try and force her opponent into a short lift inevitably there will be some errors when you try to play so accurately. So 11-7. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Oh, yes, that's nice. Service over. 8-11. Yeah, we would expect she needs to make something happen from uh, the beginning here of the uh, second part of the second game. Hey. Service over. I thought when she left the court, Wang Jiyi, to go to the interval, she looked a little bit disheartened, like she didn't really believe in it. I thought that a couple of rallies ago. Yeah. And we don't know if she never takes a game off Chen Yufei in practice. Well, she's done a couple of times in, in tournaments, so she must do in practice as well, once in a while. Oh, Missed it. Good return. That's landed on the line. So over. Nine, but the window 13. for playing that well in terms of playing it in between Chen Face racket and the line, <laughs> that's not very big. It's a super risky shot. Advantage restored. Fifteen, Seems like she's scoring at will now. Um, Chin of fate. Yeah. She's worked her opponent hard enough. Yeah. I've been consistent, not um, giving any hope to uh, Wang Jiyi, saying, hey, I can score a couple of easy points. There is no easy points. If we look away from that cross match that almost hit the blue carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every player, player is allowed a little blip. Yeah. Well left. Service over. Ten, 
Good night shot. Yeah. Service over. 17, 10. Showing her class now. Chen Ufei. Wonderful net shot. Once again, short lift and the opportunity to put the shuffle away. a little think about it but stayed her side well, that's another area where I feel that um, I've become wiser watching this match here that's the net game I feel Chen Yufei has has dominated I wasn't really sure how um, they were going to match up in that department That's a lovely block. Oi. Yeah. Service over. 11, 18. the neck cord on the Service return of serve with that push and Nine, now just two points 11. away and from a certain fourth medal at world championships for Chen Fei. match point opportunities 20 match point 11 Net cord on her second match point opportunity. And Chen Fei is through to the semi-final once more of the World Championships. 21-17, 21-12 in 44 minutes. Match won by Chen Yufei. 21-17, 21-12. Umpire confirming that scoreline. Uh, apologizes for her good fortune. Now that could be argued is just great skill. So Chen Fei through to the semi-final where she will play against the number one seed and say young in the semi-final tomorrow. 21-17, 21-12 in 44 minutes. So coming up next is Victor Axelson, the reigning and two-time world champion. He also is Olympic champion. He's up against Pranoy, who's trying to become the fifth different men's singles player from India to medal in the men's singles discipline at the World Championships.
Welcome back to the Royal Arena quarterfinals day here at the Total Energies BWF World Championships. Well, our next match is Victor Axelson, the defending and two-time champion, up against Pranoy, the number nine seed from India. Well, as far as the men's uh, singles draw is concerned, uh, seven seeds, but only four of the top eight seeds in the quarterfinal stage, six different nationalities, four players who have medaled previously. Obviously, Axelson is the defending champion. The player he beat in the final in Tokyo a year ago, uh, Vida San,